Trying to get the thing and the uh, thing. Yep, Tempest. This is the game I have wanted to see done with a laser for nine or ten years. No, yeah, much longer than that. The controls are really, really touchy, though. Yeah, well. You need that spinny knob. Um. Um, why is the laser being reflected when it goes through the front, when it hits the front side, but not when it goes to the back side? Oh, uh, they're set to reflect different frequencies of the galvo? No, he's talking about the... They're, they're the, dichroic mirrors, so they have a coating on them that allows certain wavelengths. On side that the, the thickness is exactly the half wavelength of the light you want to reflect, and it causes... It's not 100% if you can actually see what the green is coming off the back. The green is hitting this, but about 90% of this will come from this way. Okay. Uh, so it's kind of the shape of the area. Is there a reason why the red is reflected twice, as opposed to the laser being pointed out that way? Because you have two adjustments you need to do. This beam needs to hit this thing back in that here. How, how it works. The red and green, that can turn on within 70, 48 thousands of a second from zero to four. Just turn on, no problem. Because, and if I actually go and show what's, what it's really drawing, you know, this is what it's actually drawing when it's not turning to beetles. Okay. Yeah. So, Every time it's jumping around and moving those lines that you don't see, it's turning the laser on and off. Yeah. So each of those little stars is a it's uh seven forty eight thousand for the second. So it's not Basically, a dot, it's actually a small line, but some of them are longer than others. Well. Okay. Moves there, it stops three. Moves an infinitesimal amount, stops three, and then moves up. Actually, in the game, they are little lines, and, and some of them are longer than others. <laughs> really? Okay. But <laughs> for the resolution here, they're right. essentially... Right, sure, sure. The, the, the beam is bigger than the amount of moving. How about that? Yeah. So, it has a dwell. So, the mechanical response of the beam comes in, dwells, for three ticks, so it can settle on the spot, turns the laser on, the laser is actually turned on in a seven second delay off, it goes another three and then moves off. So, right. so if I actually turn on and off the... I, I wanted to... So, I turned on the red and the blue. So now it's just showing the green. Okay. So it's interesting, the game actually has a green mode in software. <laughs> well, I can also grayscale up the green too. Right? Yeah. Not red, it's green. And all the colors will show up. Ah, uh, there you go. But if I show RGB mode with... Can you say grayscale? If you only have one color, it takes the spectrum and converts it into a a intensity map so that your one color will actually get because you all the colors. Okay. Wait, how is it how is it doing that with a laser? It's it's doing it in the software. So the software controls the no, intensities of it. Oh oh the intensity of the laser. Yeah. Okay. So now this is 
red and, and green on, and here's blue, red, and green, and you have the whole picture, right? But I can go here and make it only red. So there's a difference between making it only red and just having red on. If it's only yeah. red, blue gets scaled to red. <clears throat> Turn on the... This, this, this... And see if you can tell the difference between these two. Okay, let's start again. Look at the flames now. So, this is the difference between TTL mode, where the flames are yellow and red, versus analog mode, where the flames should be variations of it. See, his game is pretty much all just primary colors, so it's hard to tell the difference, but you can tell in the flame. Mm -hmm. yeah. Scaling.